This is Verisor software using the Renishaw equator to do 3D compare. The first thing we're going to do is bring in the model. We're going to use the Verisor tutor part. As you can see, we fully digitized the Renishaw equator to see movement in real time in the 3D CAD world. We're going to go ahead and create an alignment for a non alignment. We're going to use four points on the top surface. As you can see, the top surface is a complex contour. This is no issue since we use a least squares fit directly into the model. Two points in front and our final tertiary on the side. Go ahead and run our auto alignment. Now we take the first three points manually using the joystick of the Renishaw equator. Take target one and target two. Now after the third point, you'll see the model snap in since we have an initial alignment into the model itself. And now we can lead ourselves directly to the next targets. And now our front target. And our final tertiary target. After the alignment's completed, it pops up a auto align resultant dialog. We can go ahead and hit accept. Turn off our targets. Next, we're going to create a CMM path. We're going to use our surface grid and we're going to select the top surface. You can see the start and end by the representation of the green and red balls on top of the path. We're going to use a UV of 4 and 3 today. And we're going to rotate our start and end point by hitting start and rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. Say OK to create the analysis object. And you can see it creates the analysis object in the operations manager. We're going to create a plan out of this. Create plan. And now let's go ahead and open it up. We're going to change our measure settings. That way it goes into automatic mode, measure, and single point. Measure is our CMM mode. Go ahead and toggle auto inspect. We're going to clear it out of the nominals and go ahead and hit play. This will automatically tell the CMM to go measure these 12 points. Now this is a comparison from the CMM directly to the model. and our final row. Okay, now that we're done with that, you can see the results are an analysis group in the operations manager. We're going to create a plan of that now. Now going into our measure settings inside of the report manager, we're going to switch it to measure for automation and then repeatability test from original and we're going to use single point. What repeatability test from original does is it takes the measured of the original analysis group and transfers it over to the nominals so we compare back to the first measurement set. So this is essentially doing a go no go gauge or a golden part. You can see that the numbers are down to zeros of the fourth decimal place. And the last row. Okay, next thing we can do is show our report. And you can see the report deviations here. You can see that we have very minimal deviation within the fifth decimal place. This is Verisor software with the Renishaw equator doing 3D compare. Thank you.